To you I call. You will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If I may use human terms to help your natural weakness, as once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immorality, so now you must put them at the service of righteousness for your sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you felt no obligation to righteousness. And what did you get from this? Nothing but experiences that now make you blush, since that sort of behaviour ends in death. Now, however, you have been set free from sin. You have been made slaves of God, and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death. The present given by God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked. Nor ling is in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but is he light as the Lord of the Lord, and who ponders his Lord and night. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in new season and whose leaves shall never fade and all that he does shall prosper. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Not so are the weak and not so, for they, like we no chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord that guards the way of the just, but the way of the weak and least to doom. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Alleluia. 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 I count all things worthless but this, to gain Jesus Christ and to be found in him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I've come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, 
but rather division. For from now on a household of five will be divided. Three against two, and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. To his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed, by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith, we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.